Martin, I want to ask because your your article yesterday was talking about your Premier League player of the season, and you yeah. have changed your mind, haven't you? So was it Saka originally, and now you've changed it? Down yeah, it's been Saka all season. It's been Saka all season. And I, 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 look, the reason I never vote in the football, of the, I never voted in the football of the year for many many years, is that they, we used to have to vote. Uh, now we used to have to vote in April, and I always thought that was ridiculous because the most yeah. important part of the season yeah. is, is the next month. And if they, if you're deciding between two people, what they do in this last month of the season is, you know, often in my mind defines the football of the year. So I, ne- I never I never used to vote, and I wouldn't be happy to be voting now. But yeah, all, all the way through the season, I've advocated for Saka. Uh, on a number of grounds, not just his performances, which have been fantastic, his goals and assists, first guy to uh, double figures uh, this season, first guy to do it for Arsenal since Sanchez in 2016-17. And, you know, his story in terms of the way he's bounced back from the European Championships, um, missing the penalty, the fact he always plays with a smile on his face, the fact he gets fouled more than any other player in the league, I think even more than Jack Greenish. Um, All of these things. Um, but the point I was making was that the the greater Harland's numbers get, you just can't ignore it. You know, it's getting to that stage in the season. And I just thought there was something significant. People talked about it as a significant weekend for the title race with Arsenal and Manchester City. Arsenal dropping points, City winning again. I thought it was also a significant weekend in that little individual battle. Not that that's as big as the title race, but the form that Haaland is in, is is just astonishing. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think he's the last six games City have played. It's the first time under Guardiola they've won six consecutive games by three goals or more. Um, Haaland, uh, that then Alvarez is the uh, the, the second top goal scorer in that run, and he's got four goals, and Haaland has got thirteen mm-hmm. in that run, oh, and crazy. he missed it. And he missed the Liverpool game. Yeah. Um, listen, Liverpool. we've got to let you go because we're running over. But Martin, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Martin. And we will Have be speaking day, to you very, very Thanks, soon. Thanks, everybody. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.